a little different from the car content, but a lot of people are at home and listening to music or working out and things like that. So I thought I'd review the latest uh, Powerbeats Pros and AirPods, AirPod Pros. And also I included these just because now you can get these with this set, same sound quality as this and save a little bit of money. If you, and if you prefer the wire, it's probably uh, better anyway. I'll talk about that when I review these. Or if you're just using them to work out and don't care about sound quality, these particular ones, the older ones, are actually really, really cheap. I'll link all those down in the comments. Um, so anyway, uh, let me go start with the Powerbeats Pros. I guess first, um, as you can tell, the boxing actually tells you a lot about them. Uh, this boxing is much larger, and uh, there is a reason for that. Um, the headphones themselves are larger. Not as much as the boxing would indicate, but it is, you know, a much larger case. And then the headphones themselves are much larger as well. One-handed, it's hard to open the case single-handed. It's a very nice quality product overall. Um, and then there's, there's the wire and uh, different ear pods, uh, ear attachment sizes down here. And I'll talk about the sound quality at the end and things like that. Of course, the very traditional Apple boxing you get on these guys. Uh, but yeah, you, you can see here just the case size, especially if you're traveling or trying to throw them in your pocket, it's literally like half. Um, so I think a lot of people for that reason might prefer these. Uh, the, they are pricier, but um, the sound quality is also better as we'll discuss later on. These obviously will stay in your ear uh, much better if you are working out and stuff like that. Um, so uh, open it up. The case is very similar. Uh, ch these will charge wirelessly as well, or you can just you, you know use the attached charger uh, to do it that way. These will not charge wirelessly, but there is a charger on the back. Uh, battery life is a little bit better on these guys. Um, and things like that because they are just physically larger. Uh, for me in particular, uh, these were a little uncomfortable, which is weird because these were actually really comfy for me. Um, so they, they obviously changed something in the hook or the way they go maybe deeper into your ear. I'm not 100% sure. They weren't the most comfortable for me. The sound quality over the second gen, the originals of these was much improved um, and things like that. Uh, but I actually prefer this form factor better uh, obviously that'll vary with what you do, but this is, was a nice, um, you know, improvement. And, um, I'm really glad that they also offer all the sound quality improvements of these in this form factor, if you prefer that, but some people don't like this wire. So these, that would be a great candidate for these. Uh, these probably have a more refined sound quality. They're also good bass, very punchy. Also, of course you get noise cancellation with these guys. They are a little bit easy to lose. That's actually part of why I actually preferred the wire. Um, these also are easy to lose. These, though, if you have an Apple device, actually make them play a sound. So if they like fell in your couch or fell by your bed or whatever, and it's a quiet place, you can actually hear them. Very elegant, very easy. They snap right into the case. That's another benefit, I would say, of these uh, over the Power Beats, if you are between the two. Um, when you try to put these uh, in the case, um, you kind of have to line them up. The magnet will sort of catch it, but there were times I noticed where it wouldn't grab the charge uh, right away. And like I said too, if you're just going trying to throw one of these in your pocket, um, you know, this is a lot more elegant and small and just easy to do. Like you really can see it's, it's about uh, just, I mean, it's shorter as well. Let me get you a shot of that. Um, so it's, and of course it's also lighter, um, which uh, quite a bit lighter. So um, I think case wise, these win, battery life wise, a little bit these win. Um, sound quality wise, these win. If you need the noise cancellation, obviously in a small factor, this is the way to go. These are very elegant, very nice. That you can't adjust the volume on these. That is one area these exceed. You can still adjust the volume on the headphones. Here you have to either use like a voice assistant or your device itself to adjust the volume. So that's kind of like the only thing, And but you can do everything else with like a force touch button here. The microphone quality is also very good in these. Let me know, I'm gonna keep this pretty short. Let me know any other comments or questions you guys have down in the comments. 